Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. And I swear I don't keep playing the same picture here uh, on the live cam every morning. It is really that beautiful here almost every day. Uh, I almost can't stand it sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what is this? About uh, 57 degrees out. And look at that sky. It's just lovely. Uh, a little cool for us. Uh, South Floridians down here, but if you're watching from outside the, the area, uh, you got to love this. Anyways, let's move on to what has been happening for the wrap-up for the week. This is Friday, uh, what is it, the 5th or something? Yeah, Friday, February 5th, it looks like, and it has been a roller coaster ride for sure. Damn, look at that roller coaster. That's a pretty cool pick, actually. I mean, that can't be real. So someone tell me that's real. I should have looked at first, but that's a that's kind of like the, what the roller coaster on silver has been like this week. That's for sure. With the uh, uh, Reddit false flag we had, or the Reddit rumor. I don't know if there was any Reddit fact uh, that caused the price of silver to go up, but man, did it ever! Uh, silver just skyrocketed three bucks like over the weekend physical supplies was completely sold out and by the way uh, the physical supply shortage we're having right now is not a result necessarily of this reddit rumor that kind of spiked silver just temporarily last weekend uh, this has been going on for a little while and if you take a look at my reports you'll see that I did a little report on shortages even before the reddit rumor uh, uh, so anyways yeah, the Reddit rumor did create this twisty ride this week, up three bucks, down three bucks. Now, you can have different opinions on the whole deal. Um, my opinion is that, uh, um, you know, unless you bought at the high and you bought a significant amount, uh, you're probably okay. You know, even if you're buying silver at 33, what the stupid premiums are asking right now, and they've been asking for the last week since this with these shortages, uh, you're okay. You're okay. I mean, if you pay 35 bucks an ounce for silver, I mean, it's not my preference. I mean, I th I would advise you not to do it. And and if you're a customer of mine, you know, if you came in to buy silver this week, I was telling you to try to maybe avoid it this week, just because I think premiums, even though the price drop is pretty big, uh, and it's not really big when you consider it, it was about the same price it is right now as it was before the Reddit rumor. So silver really held a base very, very nice. It just had a crazy three dollar up because of the Reddit. Reddit rumor, uh, nothing more. And what did that show us, gold and silver peeps? It showed us that it doesn't take much to move silver quickly, fast, and really wipe out a supply chain very quickly. Man, that was just a Reddit rumor, guys, that drove that price up like three bucks almost uh, over the weekend. Just a, a small rumor that someone put out and tried to attach to the uh, 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 GameStop uh, uh, deal. And uh, I don't think there was any connection. There was no real connection there. It's just a rumor. Uh, it kind of spread on maybe a couple different forums. And next thing you know, uh, you've got a small amount of people buying silver. You know, small comparatively, uh, considering, uh, small compared to the stock market people, small compared to uh, that Wall Street bets site and uh, the Reddit site. Uh, a small group of those people went in willy nilly and started buying silver and they drove the price up didn't take much to drive it up three bucks. Think about that. It was just a little bit of money flying. Can you imagine when some real money starts flying into precious metals? Holy crap. Anyways, I could go on for a while like that. You know my opinion. We'll go into it later some more, I'm sure. Uh, I like this. I think this is the reason I am here on videos, uh, um, doing YouTube videos, is uh, uh, to teach other people lessons that I've already learned, uh, you know, because it really is. This is a great little saying. Life is a succession of lessons which must be lived to under, be understood. You know, you, you can learn a lot out of books and watching YouTube videos. And I mean, again, I'm, I'm even saying myself, I can hand you a bunch of this stuff, but until, until you actually take the knowledge and experience it yourself, you really won't quite understand it and you don't quite get it. Uh, once you start taking the things that you learn from experienced people and things you learn on your own, because sometimes uh, you know, sometimes experience is not all that. You know, sometimes people are experienced people are wrong as well. So I always encourage people to go their own way. Uh, but you know, do listen to experience, listen to good data, listen to good information that you can, and people that actually do it. You know, don't listen to people that don't do it. Uh, listen to people that do it and do it for a living because their lives depend on it and so do their families. Uh, so to move on to uh, uh, something else, and again, I swear we'll get to the gold and silver report here. Uh, the problem I see with the world right now with a lot of people out there, and it's it's been like this for decades and decades and decades, is, is the get-rich-quick thing. And I, I have friends like this that 
were are extremely intelligent. I got a friend of mine that uh, I won't mention his name, and I don't think he watches the videos anyway. Extremely intelligent dude. Whatever he does, he does it well. Uh, but he constantly is jumping into these get rich quick schemes. And it's possible that any one of these schemes, had he stayed with it long enough, instead of just moving to the next get rich quick scheme. Uh, he'd been extremely wealthy man many times over, and he deserves it. He's a hard-working guy. He's smart, uh, but he's always looking to get rich quick. Instead of just sticking to something that he was he, he could have done and he was really good at and made millions and millions of dollars doing it, uh, you know, over the long haul, medium long haul, not overnight, uh, God, I, I can't even imagine where he'd been, except, uh, you know, he just jumps from one scheme to another, and a lot of people are like that in investing, and that is not what gold and silver investing is. Gold and silver investing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. If you start listening to guys that are trying to sell you this stuff under that uh, under that assumption that you're going to get rich if you buy gold and silver uh, and platinum, no, 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 no. Gold and silver and platinum and precious metals, physical precious metals, not the paper they sell you online, not ETFs, not contracts, which is bullshit in my opinion, the real stuff. Real gold and silver and precious metals, uh, holding it in your hands, is wealth preservation. You, you lack third-party risk, you don't, need elect you don't need electricity, you don't need internet. Uh, having gold and silver in your hands is a very, very powerful thing. It eliminates a lot of third-party risks and uh, it, there's a lot of privacy to it as well. And security is no big deal. You can fit a million dollars worth of gold in a freaking two, a two slice toaster. Uh, trust me on that. And silver is not that big deal either uh, because it's also too heavy to run away with. <laughs> but great deals. But remember, it's not about getting rich quick, folks. You're not buying gold and silver and platinum by get rich quick. And if you are, you're listening to the wrong guy. You need to go find one of those other guys on YouTube that'll tell you how to get rich quick. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, preserve your wealth. Uh, at least in my opinion and my experience of doing this uh, and my lessons over my 30 and 40 years of doing this, I, I stopped counting, I just say 30 to 40, um, of doing this, um, I'm going to pass along my lessons to you. And this is why I'm here. And I figure if I do that, that's a good thing because you'll send me customers. Uh, and uh, my business will grow because of that, so it's a reciprocal thing. I don't mind teaching you guys, and you guys will do business with me down the road or send me business, so that's great. Anyway, I'm about wealth preservation, not getting rich quick, and uh, <clears throat> let's move on to Zero Hedge. Love Zero Hedge. Uh, I pay the dollar a day for the premium subscription, which means I don't have to look at all those annoying ads. Uh, however, I, what's great about Zero Hedge, besides the fact they have all different kinds of opinions, uh, from crazy to really cool, uh, and you get to pick that out for yourself, not like a Wall Street Journal where they pick it for you. Uh, it, it, it's great. It's great, and you can read it for free. Zero Hedge allows you to read all their stuff for free. You just get all the annoying ads. Uh, I'm going to run over their kind of blog, their newsy blog thing. Uh, it looks like the Dems pushed through the $2 trillion stimulus. We knew they were. It was just a matter of when and how much. Uh, this is nothing going to get to do nothing but just create more freaking money printing. Crazy money printing. Uh, stock surge on dismal job data. Uh, we expected that as well. Uh, they were really happy that there was only uh, 779,000 jobless claims uh, this last month. They were happy about that. <laughs> so, I guess you, it's, it's, it's better than the 995,000 or something they had the month before. So I guess that's, that makes you happier that you have a few hundred thousand less people uh, asking for uh, uh, benefits. Anyway, stock surge on dismal job data, bond and dollar dump, and we'll take a look at the dollar here in a moment, because as we've been saying for months and months and months, it has a direct re relationship with gold. Uh, sometimes it decouples a little bit like it did today, like it did this week, uh, but generally uh, dollar keep going down mean gold and silver keep going up. That's just a real simple way to think about it. Uh, Biden can mean urgent level, blah, 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 politica, po politics, politics. Um, EU may offer temporary tariff freeze. Uh, um, you know, that's probably a good thing for the economy, but a little bit too late. Too many people unemployed, too much shit screwed up. Uh, January payrolls missed, not good. Uh, futures hit all-time high. Oil soar ahead of job reports. Uh, anyway, I didn't see anything here that was, it's all, whenever you see negative news, uh, 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 whether it's politics or economics, uh, it does have a, uh, uh, an effect on the price of gold and silver because you know these idiots, uh, politicians and officials all over the world and bankers are going to just keep doing the same thing and uh, just keep draw, driving their currencies further and further into the pits of hell. <laughs> uh, but then again, 
this is what I've been talking about right here, uh, not getting rich quick and following, you know, because they're going to suck you in with their, with, and they like it when you get rich quick or you have that attitude because you just spend, 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 pay taxes, pay taxes, and you really end up with nothing. Uh, uh, they don't want to see you preserve wealth, and uh, that's what we're doing with precious metals, gold and silver. We are preserving wealth, folks. Anyways, let's move along here to spot prices. Oh, silver, that's a little tick. Oh, by the way, uh, this is free. Fastmarkets.com. If you can find this little site, they have silver spot prices and gold spot prices. And actually, out of all the free spot prices, because we pay our uh, CCE uh, for our service on our spot prices, but out of all the spot prices, uh, 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 they're the most accurate, in my opinion, uh, for silver and gold. So it's Fastmarkets.com if you're looking for good free spot prices. Let's take a look at the uh, dollar index here real quick. Uh, and Because I always say it has a direct relationship with gold and silver. Kind of decoupled a little bit. Look at this 4 a.m. Uh, the dollar's in the tank right here. But it, it's some strange parallels that are hard for me to understand. Makes me think that governments are at work. Uh, because who's going to know that the dollar is going to be down at 4 a.m., right? Uh, and then, uh, uh, then the dollar has a little bit of strength here. And as you can see, uh, after 8 a.m., uh, the dollar starts to tank. But take a look at gold. Uh, there is that relationship too. Kind of uh, 4 a.m. right here. Look, before that the dollar was up. Who knew that the dollar was going to be down about this time? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking for conspiracies. But uh, at the same time, the dollar is kind of. Uh, uh, it seems like someone knew what the dollar was going to do, and gold kind of does just the opposite. Uh, anyways, if you take a look here, you see kind of that spiky chart. Uh, gold's kind of been all over the place. Looks like what 1790 or something, 1795, and uh, 1808 I saw last night early in the morning. That's kind of odd, too, because typically it gets banged early in the morning. So um, I think probably we're going to be looking for an uh, up market compared to where we were this week uh, today, and uh, maybe even next week. It's kind of curious. I think we bought them out in both. I think the uh, uh, effects of that, uh, uh, we're going to get to ratios here, too, which are pretty cool. I think the Reddit uh, rumor uh, bullshit that happened last week and drove prices up by just a tiny bit of people getting into the market uh, is is over and kind of just put a blip on our silver charts. And actually, if you take a look at the silver charts, what do they say? A double top. It looks like a double top because of that blip. But it's not a double top because that blip was not for real. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see where we're going from here. Uh, gold and silver ratios. Uh, um, we, I've seen it last year as high as 100 to 1. I mean, it's come down dramatically. Look at the ratio here uh, on this 24 hours uh, silver chart. Um, 68 to 1 uh, down to, uh, I'm sorry, 68.8 uh, uh, down to uh, 68. It looks like that this ratio is tightening up. Is it because gold's, main, sil gold's kind of dropped back a little bit, it seems like, of recent? Silver is kind to uh, uh, kind of held its own. It's it's been in that 25, 26 range, folks. Uh, even though you may be disappointed, and you thought silver got the shit kicked out of it last week. It didn't. It was just a false blip. That's all. Uh, you can't really look at those things as being real. Um, 30 day gold and silver ratio. Check this out. Pretty cool. It's slowly just going down. I want to look at the one year chart. Uh, uh, look, check check this out. It it I. Re was amazed. I've never seen this in my life where, where we had that ratio. It went from 90 to 1 last year all the way up. Silver just kind of stayed low while gold kind of took off a little bit. Uh, but since that point last year, February, was it March, uh, when we seen that high, uh, the highest ratio I can remember in a long time, if ever, uh, it has been a steady uh, decrease. And it's not really because gold's gone up, it's just because silver's performed extremely well. And it's catching up with gold a little bit, tightening up that ratio. Uh, so uh, pretty cool and something always to take a look at. You know, I'm not sure in a bull market, I think the ratio went down as low as the 30 to 1 or something like that. I'll have to take a look at it in 2011. Um, and I'm not sure where it was in 1981. But uh, I think the lower this gets, the more it kind of indicates we're getting more and more into a, uh, uh, a faster bull market here. We'll see. Uh, let's take a look at spot prices. They're up from yesterday, and again, my prediction is that we're going to be up on the day overall from where we were this week uh, for both metals, and uh, Saturday looks kind of promising to me. I think Saturday is going to be a good update. Um, there are still shortages out there here. Let me do a quick refresh here, uh, see what we got going on. Yeah, a little bit up from uh, about 20 minutes ago when I refreshed it. 
1803, 55 currently, 2665 on silver. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. Silver has had a great run. It's still having a great run. Uh, even though people are going to trash it for that stupid, ridiculous uh, 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 false flag $3 update last week. You just ignore that. Pretend it didn't happen. Take it off your graph. Uh, uh, we're in good. We're in good places, folks. Take a look at platinum too. Uh, both these metals are doing really, really well. Um, I'm pleased. I'm pleased this punch, and uh, and I think that uh, the only thing I'm not pleased about is the premiums are stupid high on this stuff still. That does not make me happy. I don't like seeing my customers come in and saying how much are silver eagles, which I think are overpriced to start with, which you would know if you watch my other videos. Uh, but when I tell them that uh, my 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 the competitors, I always look and see who the cheapest people online are. Uh, I look at uh, J, uh, JM, I look at SD and Atmax, and I always beat their prices. If I can get the product or have the product, it's pretty easy for me to beat the online guy prices. And I usually always, not usually, I always beat the local guys' prices. Um, it's pretty easy to do once you get into the groove on how to do it and you get the volume going. And we do have good volume now. Uh, but I only deal locally. I don't deal online. That's the problem. If you're watching me from somewhere afar, outside Lauderdale by the sea, I'm sorry I can't help you. Um, but do give me a call. I know dealers all over the country, local dealers, and I always recommend you buy local. Keeps the money local, and uh, your local dealer spends that money in town, has his family in town. Uh, so always try to keep the money local with, I don't care what it is, uh, uh, coins, precious metals, uh, uh, tires, <laughs> whatever it may be. Anyways, uh, uh, I think we're in good places, folks. If anything goes crazy from here for the rest of the day, I'll do another video. But I think we're going to be status quo right in this 1800 plus level on gold, uh, maybe a little bit higher uh, by the close, I think. Uh, and silver's looking damn good. I like it, despite that stupid up. And uh, and you know, even if you can't buy silver and you're cussing, I can't buy it at this $26 level because the premiums are too high. Relax. Um, let's see what happens next week. Maybe the supply will kind of free up a little bit. We'll get some more stuff in, uh, and the premiums will come down. Uh, even if the silver prices go up, you might even end up paying a little bit less than you did this last week. Uh, you know, I saw people paying 38 bucks for Silver Eagles. That's insane. And uh, I'm like the soup, uh, you know, the uh, Seinfeld soup Nazi guy. You can't have any soup. I won't sell you Silver Eagles if I think they're too high. And I didn't sell Silver Eagles this week. I, I told everyone not to buy them. Uh, and I got a safe form full of them, consequently. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. As you know, call me anytime at 954-493-8811 uh, for uh, updates on precious metals, any questions you may have, um, and what the best deal of the day is. We will always tell you. We want you to have the best deal of the day. And don't forget to check out my other videos, too. Uh, and like and subscribe. Hey, phones are ringing already. Thanks for calling, and have yourself a great day.